The form view generally makes editing a record at a time pretty easy. However, one of the biggest problems I've seen with this control is that there's no way of telling the form view to use the same template for both add and update. My experience has been that most of the time, add and update look exactly the same, or at least they're enough the same that you could use one template and hide the inappropriate controls in that template. One of my first attempts at fixing this problem was to use a web user control. However, I quickly discovered that you can't data bind a web user control. I finally discovered a great way of using the edit template for both add and edit. Simply by making use of a good three-tiered architecture, you can overcome the limitation of the form view control. So we'll come over here. I've, I've already placed my form view control in here. And to make this work, we're assuming that this particular page is only going to do uh, add and edit. So we have our, our form up there. And next thing we'll do is we're going to tell this business logic layer that the get data we want to use is I've actually put a new get data in there that it takes an ID. We'll take a look at that later. And we'll tell it that we want it to use the query string field ID. Right, so that's going to take care of that for us. That's the view. Let's go take a look at the, the business logic layer. What I've done in the business logic layer, let's give myself a little bit more real estate here. is I've put in the get data by ID method, taking the ID. And what I've basically done here is I've set this up so that if ID equals negative one, if they pass ID equals negative one in the query string, what it's gonna do is it's going to add a brand new record and add it to the table and return that. So, let's see the code here. There's my creation of my table. There's creation of my new row. Once I've got my new row, I want to initialize the variables so that it'll be able to do the data binding properly. And then I return the table. If it's anything else other than negative one, I just go down here and return the get data off of my adapter, same as we always would. The other side of this is in the update method. In the update method, your standard update, first, last name, you know, all that stuff. Here's the standard call, adapter update. But if the original ID is negative one, in other words, if we were adding, what we're going to do is we're going to insert the information rather than update the information. And this makes um, everything used on my adapter because I'm actually in the, in the edit mode. Uh, and I never actually uh, set myself up to be an insert for the form view. And that's really all it is there is to it. And this is one of the great ways of being able to use uh, a three-tiered architecture to get a little bit more control over your environment.